Hi everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a desktop wallet for Zeno and then stake your Zeno so that you can help secure the network and earn interest on your Zeno at the same time. So the first step is to go and head on over to Zeno.org and you'll click on downloads right here on the top. And then uh, I'm running uh, Mac. So in this case, I'll choose Mac OS X, but if you have Windows, you can download the executable. If you have Linux, you can uh, download the app image there. So in this case, I'll download this. And there it is downloading. And we'll click on that. And very simple, I just drag and drop into the applications folder. And that's done. And then you can close that. And then you can head on over to your applications and you will see right there, there's your new uh, Zeno uh, wallet there. So you'll click on that to open that for the first time. And it'll give you this caution, right? To open Zeno, you'll need to install Rosetta. Do you want to install it now? And if you, most of you will probably already have that installed, but I'm recording this on a brand new computer. Um, so you just click install and you wait for that to download and you'll put in your password so that that can install. I put in my password and we will install the Rosetta Stone software. Installed, done. And then we will go and click on Zeno to open Zeno. And here it comes. It's opening for the first time. No. It says, Zeno is an app you downloaded from me. On, are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we do. That's the whole point here. And you wait a moment for that to open. And when it opens for the first time, it'll have to download the entire blockchain and sync that, which can take a couple of hours. But that only happens the very first time you set it up. After that, you don't have to wait uh, at all. And here we go. And so for the first time, uh, if you already have a wallet, you can restore from a previous wallet or open one if you already have it. But in this case, I'm brand new, so I'm going to make a new wallet. But you can see it's already busy downloading the Zeno blockchain right here. So we'll click Create a New Wallet. Use your ZenoList YouTube demo. You choose the location, which I just did, and you'll hit Create Wallet. And again, you should absolutely choose a password normally, but in this case, I'm not doing it for this demonstration. There you go, create wallet. To create a password, uh, create a password to secure your seed. So again, you should absolutely choose uh, a password for your seed because that way people need your seed and your password. Uh, and uh, you can generate that here. And that's going to be 24 words you have to write down with a pen and paper or put somewhere really, really safe because anybody that gets access to your seed can access your money. It's really, really important to, to make a backup of that. And again, it's uh, if you want to see all the notifications from Zeno, you can click Allow Notifications. It'll notify you every time you receive a payment or something like that. So for the moment, all we have left to do is wait for the blockchain to sync. I don't know, maybe that'll take about an hour on the first time. Uh, you can see at 3.30 uh, a.m. on the local computer time that's recording this. And we'll skip forward to when this is done syncing so you can see exactly how long that takes. And uh, I'll go through the rest of the steps to start staking your Zeno and earning interest. So here we are, uh, just a couple hours later. Uh, the blockchain's almost done syncing. I think it would have synced even a little bit faster, but I think the computer went into sleep mode for a bit. But uh, uh, one tip for laptops, just put like a YouTube video playing in the background. The computer won't go into sleep mode. We're almost there. And what I'm going to do in the next step here is I'm going to show you how to turn on staking. So the first step in order to turn on staking is you have to actually have some Zeno. And so what I'm going to do, and I will show you at the same time, I already have some Zeno on my phone already. And previously I showed how to make a phone wallet. So I'm opening the wallet on my phone here. So now I'll just hit the receive button, right? And here's my Zeno address for our new uh, Zeno wallet. And it looks like it's actually finishing scanning the blockchain, but that'll be done real quick here. And in fact, uh, I will wait until that's done scanning before I actually send the Zeno so you can see. And again, it only does this the first time when you when you boot everything up. Uh, after that, everything's real quick and, and easy. So now the wallet is done thinking, but there's no Zeno in this wallet. So all I'm going to do is on my phone, I'm going to hit the send button. I will choose what asset I want to send. So in this case, I want to send Zeno, which is the very top one. I'll hit the scan button. We'll scan that. Now I have the address in there. So I'm sending half a Zeno for my phone here, which is still plenty. Uh, it's worth like a dollar and a half at the moment. Uh, and in advanced options too, you can see if you want to include who it's from, you want to include in my thing who it was to, the fee that's paid there is a, a hundredth of a Zeno. So anyhow, I'll hit send. Confirm, and it's asked for my passcode. So here it is on the test phone. Anyhow, sent from my phone almost. There we go, send. And if we look here, boom, already received. If we click on the assets tab, you can see here, I just received half a Zeno. There it is. And so now to stake my half a Zeno, it's so easy. All you have to do is make sure your computer stays on. But when you're ready to stake the Zeno, there's this little switch here that says staking. Right now it's off. Click it. Now staking is turned on. And with half a Zeno, you'd have to wait, you know, I don't know, it took a decade or three before you'd actually uh, get any rewards. But if you have more Zeno than that, you can earn Zeno every single day. And in fact, if we head on over to Explorer, 
www.zeno.org, you'll be able to see exactly what the equivalent uh, APR uh, rate is there. So there it is. So uh, about three and a third uh, percent interest on your Zeno. And that's an addition to whatever the actual price does in the future. And in other videos, we covered why the price of Zeno is likely to go up. So you can see the most recent block, including the one where I probably just sent a transaction. It had nine transactions in that block. And then these are just the block rewards. But you can see that people are, as they're using, you know, a couple here and there, as more and more people start to use it, all of these fees are being burned. So eventually the Zeno network will become deflationary as more and more people are using it for their tokens. And as, if the network is deflationary, more and more people are going to want to own Zeno and the prices likely go up and up and up over time. And you can see at the moment, 7.9 million Zeno are staked, which is a little over half the total supply. And developers that are busy working on this, they're staking uh, 885,000 Zeno, so they're running interest on that. And the idea is that hopefully the interest will just pay them to continue working and improving and maintaining the Zeno network uh, forever so that my staking node here uh, will continue to earn money on and on and on into time. So uh, that's it for this video, but uh, stay tuned and I will show you how to make a Zeno alias on your desktop. See you in the next one.